You really don't need to replace the whole thing. All you really need to do is replace the piece that's in the center. There you go. There's a little O-ring that I dropped. But there's the piece itself. And this is the just a faceplate. It's a screwdriver. You can get something. If you're worried about marring up, uh, scratching up your your console here, you can get some probably hard plastic. I'm not too concerned about it, so I went ahead and just put a pen in here. I think I used a golf tee once and a credit card that didn't quite work. So I do have a few little scratches on there, but as I said, I'm not that concerned about it. And you see I got the top off there. Now I'm just going to wiggle it till I get the bottom off. There you go. And just grab a hole of the internal piece. And it comes right out. Here's the replacement piece. Pull the internal part out. Push it right in. There you go. To my Bluetooth that I have. Hit the auxiliary. And that are figuring out how to come up to their bosses or figuring out how to like invite their parents to their wedding or not invite their parents to their wedding to get to live in that. I think I think the biggest challenge. There you go. Oh, and as a follow-up, if you want to see the uh, Canovo uh, Bluetooth device that I have, and if you've got a Civic or any car with a, a CD player, good old CD uh, slider in there, and you don't want to really use CDs anymore, I've got this holder that uh, holds a phone. I'll link to it as well. Really great. Uh, I've tried a couple other ones, and uh, so far this is the best one I've tried. Has a little locking piece like that. It just slides into the CD slot. This spins around. You can remove it if you want really easily. Um, so it accommodates a pretty wide phone. This is a Nexus 4. So not a huge phone, but uh, you can see there's plenty of room on the sides. And then it just squeezes down like that. Rotates to pretty much whatever angle you want. 